Hi everyone, welcome back to Dr. Kumar's channel. Myself, Dr. Shiva Jyoti, cardiopulmonary therapist. Today we will discuss on a device known as incentive spirometer. This is the device. Now, in this video, I am going to explain you how to use this device and what is the procedure, exact procedure to use this device. How we, in which all conditions you can use this device and how many times should we do this? Incentive spirometer is a device which is used as an breathing exerciser. This can be used in many conditions. In the hospital setup, you can see this device the people using after the surgery. And not only that, this can be used for many of the lung conditions as a treatment plan, like uh, conditions like an chronic uh, COPD or uh, pulmonary fibrosis or asthma. Many of the conditions you can use this one. This device can also be used with the people who are affected with the COVID-19 even after the post recovery phase also this can be used now coming for the uses of the device what does this device does so when you when you are using this device we will be taking an deep and the slow and the deep breathing coming for the uses of this device this device use uh, used to help the improve the lung functioning increases the lung capacity and stops or reduces the mucus building up strengthen the lungs after an uh, prolonged immobilization or in the person whoever is there on the bed rest from a long time and not only that this device reduces the chances of the infection for the lungs this is an incentive spirometer where there will be an mouthpiece and the chambers where there will be an three balls will be there and the this movement of the ball depends upon the how much of the amount of how much amount of the air you are taking in as you increase the depth of the breathing the balls will raise in an orderly manner first the blue ball will raise next along with the blue ball if you increase the depth of the breathing or breathe for a longer time then yellow ball also will rise and if the effort is more then the three balls will be rise rising this is the how the balls will move depending upon the effort done by you. The movement of the ball provides the feedback to us so that we can able to know our lung capacity or how much we the air we are breathing in. To use this device, the person should sit upright and they should place their mouthpiece into the mouth and not only that, the important thing is that they should hold the spirometer in mouth level not onto the down position or not onto the upward position that will affect the effort of the breathing or the movement of the balls before starting the procedure they have to exhale the air then keep the mouthpiece in the mouth then then take the air in or inhale so that the ball will raise upwards and once the when you are taking the air in then uh, at least try to make sure that the ball will be raising in the air for at least for the four to five seconds that means inhale the air and hold the breath for the four to five seconds then exhale it the ball will fall down now i'll show you how After doing like this for the 10 repetitions, you cough it out so that you can clear any of the mucus is there, if at all it is there in the lungs. So you can practice this for the 10 repetitions as a one set, can do it every hourly or you can do it 3 to 4 times in a day. So by practicing this, you can maintain your the lung function. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, share it and subscribe it. For the further notifications, click the bell icon.